Here's how to get Vein Miner 1.21.7. Let's go. So the first step is to click the second link in the description, which is going to place you in this quick article in here in case you get lost in this video, in case I go too fast. But if you want to go straight to the point, go down to step one and press on the Vein Miner button. That is going to redirect you to this page where we're going to select 1.21.7 and then we're going to download the Vein Miner that works for us. Now, in this case, I'm going to download Fabric, but if you're running a paper server or something like that, you could download this one over here. But again, in this video, I'm going to download Fabric. Go ahead and click download right here and the download for the Vein Miner will begin right away. Now, if you look over here or if you even check on the dependencies of a miner over here, you will see that you actually need silk and you also need FL Kotlin. So we're going to go ahead and download those two as well. Go back to that second link in the description and press on the silk button over here on silk. We're going to follow the same process 1.21.7 and we're going to hit download and then go back to the article over here and we're going to go over to FL Kotlin and same process in here. Select 1.21.7 and we're going to hit download. Again, feel free to slow down that part or read through the article if that was too much. But pretty much we just downloaded Bay Miner and its two dependencies, which is Cell as well as Fabric Language Cut. Now, once you download those three files, I want you to go ahead and place them in your desktop. You will find those files here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Just go ahead and drag and drop them from here to your desktop. It's that easy. Now, at this moment, guys, if you already have Fabric installed and you also have the Fabric API, you could just go ahead and drop these three mods into your mods folder and that's it. You're done. You will have Bay Miner working. But if you don't have Fabric installed, then that's what we're going to do next. Head over to the third link in the description, which is going to place you right here a quick article on how to install fabric in case i am too fast but again if you want to go straight to the point go down to step one press on fabric that redirects you to the fabric page where we're going to hit download universal jar and the download for fabric will begin right away now just like we did with every other file i want you to go ahead and place the fabric installer in your desktop and now lastly before we finish we also need to download the fabric api if you ever modded using fabric you know you need the fabric api for most mod to works and vein miner is not different okay so click on the fourth link in the description that place you over here select 1.21.7 and download the Fabric API. Guys, I know I'm going really fast, so if you got lost at any moment, slow it down, but we're just downloading all the files that we need. Now, I want you to place the Fabric API in your desktop. Again, you can find it here on your recent download history. Now, once you got these five files in your desktop, and I know it's a lot of files, but we are now ready to begin. First, close your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher and make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.21.7 at least once on your computer. Then now all you have to do is double click on the Fabric installer. That is going to open the installer of Fabric and it's going to look like this. And you're going to select 1.21.7 and you're going to go ahead and hit install right here. That'll begin the installation of Fabric. And if your Fabric installer didn't open, that's because you don't have Java 21. So I'll leave you this article in the description, how to install Java 21, because this is a requirement for actually installing mods in Minecraft 1.21.7. Again, you just download Java 21, hit next a couple of times, and then you'll be able to open the Fabric installer but once fabric has finished installing close the installer and guess what you can now even delete the fabric installer all that is left is fabric api vein miner and its two mod dependencies now it's time to add all these mods to fabric how do you do that well it's easy go ahead and launch your minecraft launcher and once the minecraft launcher opens if we install fabric properly you're probably gonna see it selected here but we're not gonna hit play just yet we're gonna head over to installations and we're gonna select modded right here on the top right select modded and then once you see fabric you're gonna hover over it and you're gonna press open installations folder that is going to open this folder in here which is the minecraft installation folder and you are now looking for a folder called mods and my mods folder is right here but perhaps you don't have a mods folder and i went ahead and deleted mine if you don't have a mods folder don't worry all you have to do is press new press folder and then name this folder mods m-o-d-s just go ahead and create the mods folder yourself it's that easy go ahead and open the mods folder app and now guys all you have to do is drag and drop all those mods from the desktop bay miner silk fl Kotlin, and the fabric api all to the same mods folder okay now once you added these mods into here if you want to add any other mods to minecraft this is the moment to do so. Just make sure they are compatible with Fabric as well as with Minecraft 1.21.7. Then close the mods folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher and launch the game using Fabric. Just click play right here. Now guys, while Minecraft opens, keep in mind that Vein Miner is only usable in your local single player world. If you want to use this on a multiplayer world, you're actually going to have to own the server. So to own a server, all you have to do is use the first link in the description and the first 25 people to use that first link will get 25% off with Apex Hosting. I'll leave you that link. You'll be supporting the channel. You'll be able to use Vein Miner on your server and you'll get 25% off with Apex Housing, okay? So first link in the description, and now let's keep going. Now guys, once we're inside the game, you will know that Vein Miner is working because if I break these blocks right here using a pickaxe, you will see that all of them break together. And that's Vein Miner right there working. And there you guys have it. How to install Vein Miner 1.21.7 for Minecraft. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.